Hey guys, it's Erica. I've been getting quite a few requests on um, my stick pins and doing a tutorial for them and kind of just giving some tips on how I make my stick pins. So I'm this is what I'm doing. Um, first off, I just wanted to kind of tell everyone what to purchase if you're new to making stick pins or what I have purchased and what I use to make mine. Um, these are the stick pins that I use. Um, they are by this line by Michael's Quinceanera and they have the little like diamond at the top. They're $1.99 for 20 of them. So this is the kind that I use. And then also I've purchased this one from Michaels by Beads Landing. They're the Beads Landing corsage pins and they have the pearl at the top. Let me get one out right here. So this is the one with the little um little like diamond at the top. And whoops. Here's the one with the little pearl at the top. And they measure approximately two inches. So they're about the same size. You know, they're exactly the same size. And they're about two inches. So um, what I also what you're going to need, well, obviously, is the corsage pins you're going to need. Um, and then you're going to need beads and bead spacers or bead caps. So here are the beads that I have. I purchased a ton of the dollar. They're 99 cents for a strand of pearl, like pearl beads. Um, I got a whole pack of beads from Ross for like $3 that have like different um, colors and shapes and sizes in there. You can use any kind of beads that you want. I actually found some bracelets in my jewelry box and I just cut them up and use the beads from there. Um, so I've got teeny tiny ones. I've got huge, sorry, I'm out of camera, huge ones. So these are just the ones that I have and that I've been using. So any type of beads that you want. And then you'll need like the bead spacers or bead caps. Um, I purchased them at Joann's and at Michael's and at Walmart. So they have them at Walmart and there's just, hold on, I'm going to do this. You can maybe see it better. Maybe if I'm not standing over it. But as you can see here, they're just like all different shapes, sizes. I'm going to flip that one over. Um, so that's what they look like. Just a whole variety. I like to buy the ones that come in a variety pack because I just like to have, um, you know, options when I'm making them. So I use um, my hot glue gun um, to glue the stick pins on, or the beads on the pins. Um, I know a lot of people use glossy accents, but I don't have glossy accents. So I just use my hot glue gun and it works perfectly fine. Um, so usually what I do is I plug in my hot glue gun while I'm trying to design the pin. Um, and then I just go from there. So. I'm going to use uh, this stick pin right here, and then I'm just going to kind of just think about what I want to do. I usually just pick out a bunch of random things and just kind of figure out what looks the best. So it's really just trial and error, like how you want it to look. I usually put the whole stick pin together first before I glue it down. Um, that way I can, uh, you know, so you can change it. So this is just what I do, like I said, like trial and error. Well, that looks really cute. And then I'll put a really tiny bead at the bottom. You can use up as much space or as little space that you want. 
Like you can put four beads, three beads, five beads, 500 beads if they fit on there, whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. So I kind of like that. Let me see something. That's different. Um. Like I said, really it's just like trial and error what you want to do or how you want your your stick pin to look. Oh, I really love that purple. Sorry if the lighting is a little crazy right now. Uh, let me see. Actually, let me use this tan like mauve color. Oh, I think that's cute. And then like a little tiny pearl at the end. Yeah, I don't like how that looks. Uh, I want something super tiny. I don't want to go into my case again because I don't want it makes a lot of noise and stuff I don't want to bother you guys with that I think I'm gonna go with a tiny pearl I don't think I like that either. I could be here for hours just to, like on one pin, just trying to make it look perfect. There, I kind of like that. And I just need something to just finish it off. Had like a really teeny black one, but I don't. There, I like that. All right, so what I do is I just pull everything down and I just use like a tiny, tiny bit of hot glue, just a tiny bit. And then I kind of just, just push everything up and that's all you have to do is just use, whoops, just use a tiny bit of glue. Like you barely have to push the trigger, just a tiny bit of glue and then just 
turn, you know, like twirl the stick pin and then just push it up. And you can also um, spin the beads until it dries. And like for this tiny, tiny one, you just need like such a little bit. And there you go. And there you have your stick pin. And it takes just a second to dry. Um, and you can use these in your projects, your cards, you know. I've really, you know, taken to um, making the stick pins and I've really enjoyed myself. So that is how I make them. And I store them in a little box that I have. Um, and just pull them out and use them when I, when I want. I haven't made a stick pin holder yet, but I will. Um, so if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. I hope this was helpful to you. Sorry if the lighting was a little bit crazy. Um, it's nighttime here. So thanks so much. Have a good night. Bye-bye.